right, y'all. We are on the way to Daytona. This is our first major bike event, and we are super excited. I can tell that this trip to Daytona has gotten me over a lot of fears. I didn't like heights, curves and heights, heights with bridges or heights with water, bridges with water. So I definitely think riding to Daytona challenged me a bit and got me comfortable as well. So the route that we took was from obviously from Phoenix City into Columbus, from Columbus into Tifton. And that's like a two and a half ride. Two, that's a two and a half hour ride to 75. So most of, I guess half of our trip was on the back roads and half of it was on 75. So usually before we go on these trips, I need to get my mind right and just get my nerves um, settled especially if we're going somewhere new for the first time. So our thing is to get up early, leave enough time to get there, take some time to get breakfast, and just unwind and talk about something other than the ride or just discuss the ride or, you know, or just go back over the plans for the ride. And that typically soothes my mind. So you'll see us stop at Cracker Barrel uh, for our breakfast before we get on to... 75 and head on down. Stay tuned and see what the heck's going on in Daytona. Daytona Beach, Black Week 2023. There's an announcement coming up from HD, my boy Paula Davis and 120. It's got an announcement for you, you guys gather around so that we can give you all the freebies that are actually available to you. My boy can tell you how you can sign in and get what you're looking for. Let's get it done. Appreciate you guys Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you. There you go. I'll see you now. All right. All right. I want to welcome everybody down here on behalf of the Harley Davidson Motor Company down here at the Bethune Cookman College. All right, y'all, so I muted the video because I'm not sure how this copyright thing goes with YouTube and even though I'm not attaching the music to the video, but I just don't want to get copyrighted. So I might pause it here and there. All right. At this time, um, I was asking Kelly B where GQ was because I knew they rolled down together.
don't mind. No, hey, look, look. Hey, tell me what your name is. Hey, my name Andre. Andre. And hey, hey, JW. JW. They're driving the gold wing. Put the wing okay. on they can put the wing. Okay. That's okay. All right. That's a real bike. That's the. Oh, yeah. That's what I keep well, hearing. Let's look, see what the real look, bike. Look, look. look. <laughs> they say this the real bike right here. Hey. You paid. That's what it is. Okay. I I appreciate you. Look at that. Real, look, we was talking about that though. Yeah. We was talking about getting the gold wing and when we get a little older. All right, y'all. So at this point, we were exhausted. It was still early in the day, but we were tired. What I didn't show you was um, last night when we got in, we locked our forks. This is the first time really that the motorcycles has been outside of our garage. So, you know, we locked the forks just for um, security purposes. Well, the next morning, about 7.30, 8 o'clock, we got up, and the hubby couldn't get his forks unlocked. You know, he always talk about how this road glide is better than the street glide, but I'm going to tell you, every time we go somewhere, it's always that dang on road glide. But anyway, um, we spent some time trying to get it unlocked ourselves, YouTubing it. George from Sidewalk Customs came over to try to assist, but no one had the proper tools to try to align it back up. So after a few hours, we had to call a tow truck and get it towed to Harley. And shout out to Harley on US1, I believe. Um, it's, called, it's Teddy Morris. Shout out to them because before they could unload the bike off, off the tow truck, they had already um, unlocked the forks. We stayed out there at that Harley Davidson for maybe about 30 minutes, but it was just so crowded. And plus, we wanted to get back to the daytona side because we hadn't been over um daytona we stayed in the land so when we came in that night we chilled out over there and we was gonna have a fresh start the following morning you know for a split second i forgot how the floridians do you know and she had them girls out and on the back she had a tattoo on her back that said b i b i All right, y'all, so the next morning, we had made plans to um, ride with George from Sidewalk Customs and his crew. We decided that we were going to go ahead and do that because at any given moment, um, George installed our music. And it hasn't been a time that we called George that he didn't answer right away, call us back within minutes if he didn't answer. We FaceTime with him for whatever answers that we need, and it's just not music related. So I can definitely appreciate him. But what I told George was, hey, I want to hang out outside of us calling you to do something or help us with something. So we ate breakfast the next day and we rode the loop. And it was pretty, pretty good. It was real scenic, really nice, really soothing. All right, we out here at the IHOP waiting on George and the crew. We're going to ride the loop with them today. And probably go to the speedway later. So, I guess this is the biker's choice. Alright, this is George bike. Yeah. I mean, um, yeah. Your oil pump? Oh, yeah. I got 
I made had one of the best. The kids, thirty nine. Everybody tells you, no, change your oil. Change two thousand dollars for the fire. Yeah, right. Yeah, you need that one. Yeah, it's good, bro. But you need more. At this point, we just finished eating, chit-chatting. Now we mounting up to go ride the loop. It take us a little bit to get to the starting point, so um, I decided to capture some of the city portion of it, which is Daytona Shores or Daytona Beach Shores. And then I guess the loop is part of that. And, of course, we get stopped by the red light. But we catch up, um, as you will see. But I'm going to just go ahead and let the video play because um, the scenery, I, I love the city portion of that I love the loop so I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all enjoy it as well
Alright, so at this point, we are headed back to the hotel. We done had our fun for the day. We got up at about 6 that morning, chill out, rode the loop, went and had fun. Now it's time to get some rest to get on the road and head back home. I don't know what got into Daytona's weather. It was cold. And then on the way, I guess, to the expressway, all the way to 75, we had to go down this dark road. It was so dark. And y'all know I don't like the dark. It was so dark. It was just crazy. I ended up having to have Hubby get in the front to lead because I couldn't even see. Um, and it was foggy. Then we had to pull over because we need to add layers to our cold weather gear it was just crazy it was the most intense um i guess it was like an hour um ride to the expressway and then once we got there we rode maybe another 30 45 minutes and pulled over to our first gas stop man i ain't never been so cold i was freezing i don't do gas station food and coffee so but that day i drunk that coffee and had one of them makeshift sausage sandwiches On another note, let me find out your girl got comfortable with going 90 miles an hour. Man, what a milestone. Because before I was stuck at 80, maybe 85, but your girl was comfortably hitting 90. We was hauling the tail and we was having fun. That is until the rain started. All right, y'all. We're about 40 miles. 50 miles from the house and we got caught in the rain I mean I put my rain gear on um, in Tifton you know and then the hubby he said he ain't had no room for his bag in his bag for the rain gear he always doing something different but we pulled over because I couldn't see so now we done made it back hit a goddamn birds chirping and we went through hell I couldn't see. What up, let, though? Right. Let me tell y'all something. I mean, y'all probably already know. But for the new crowd and the people in the back, riding in the rain ain't it. You can't see? Uh-uh. Noob. But we made it. Holla at your girl. <laughs>